So some of the natural outgrowths of focused attention, some of the things we get when we when we when we begin to be mindful is that we we get reciprocal love and consideration because when we show love to people, that's something we're sowing in their lives and they can return that to us also. When I'm concerned about people, I'm sowing a seed and I can expect the harvest back in my life also. When I'm listening to things, then I can, then I can expect uh, them to listen to me also. And I say things, not people, because everything is speaking to you. Your environment is speaking to you. If you can listen and respond correctly, then that person can, that thing can work for you as well. Right, you feel a sense of belonging, you know, and you have positive feeling about human relations in general, because people love you. People people aggregate towards you if they see that you're a person that loves and cares for them, and you're making a difference in their life, and you're feeding something inside of them. People go to people that feed something inside of them. People aggregate to people that feed something on the inside of them. So if your life feeds something on the inside of people, they will aggregate towards you and you'll get the benefit of, of that, right? And as we try to close here, uh, so we can we, we can to, we can give a little more attention every day, you know, and that will make a difference in our life. We need to ask a question, what action could you take to give attention, appreciation to someone who deserves it? You can, what, what can you do? you know, to give attention to people around you, to your spouse, your children. Uh, consider distraction-free times, you know, what, what, what times you can be free from, from distractions and activities just to focus on relationships that are important to you or things that are important to you also. It doesn't have to all just be relationship. There are things, tasks in your life that you probably need to focus on and get the better of. You know, probably need time, you know, to think about 2023, closing 2024. You know, we talk about quiet time as Christians, and this is the, the time we, we do. And we, we say that that time is a time when we, we, we don't have, we're mindful, we're not distracted. We try to get a time when we're not distracted to focus on God, to focus, to hear from God, to spend time with God. You know, that's a time also to be mindful. We get the benefit because we are sensitive, say, what is God saying to me, right? We're alert to what God might be saying to us, you know, so we can respond, all right? You know, what's it saying to me? What's it saying about my life? You know, what, what direction is it pointing me to, right? Even as we close the year here, a lot of people are going to be asking God, oh, 2024, God, what's the direction? What are you saying? What, 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 what's, what's, what are the full steps of 2024? You know, and that comes from a place of not being distracted, of being of being a lot, of giving attention. You know, and that's what we will typically would say when we look at Isaiah uh forty, and we we'll talk about those days that wait on the Lord, is days that are mindful of the Lord, they that spend that time to be quiet, to be a lot. To, to attend, to be conscious, you know, to 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 separate out that time with God, to listen to Him, you know, though then they can hear the, the direction that is is given to them, you know. So those are things we can do, you know. And when it comes to relationship, we can be radically curious, you know. We can ask questions from people, should or we care, you know, and not just be overly about us ourselves, you know. We can ask those open-ended question just to to let people know that we're conscious we're listening to them you know that would help with relationships you know uh with human beings right and um lastly as we try to close here we, it also helps you know when we notice uh when we notice someone well noticing someone is a way of respecting them right when we notice someone it, the people, it's a way of respecting them. It's saying that we 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 give heed to who you are, where you are, what you're going through, right? So that's a benefit of mindfulness. You know, when I when I notice someone, you know, I notice you have not eaten. I notice, oh, you just bought boy new glasses. You know, it's a way of you you you're giving respect. You're telling that person that person is loved. That person is seen. And that person is heard, 
Don't forget again, what a person does not say is more important than what that person says. So if you're able to hear what is not being said, that person will feel loved, seen, and heard, even though the person did not say anything because that person is saying something, right? So when you give heed to what a person is not saying, that person will feel loved, seen, and heard. And that person feels connected, right? So when you notice someone, it's a way of respecting that person. It's a way of paying tribute to that person, you know, uh, in, in that exact moment. Attention is our most precious asset, right? And deciding how we invest it is one of the most important decisions we can make, right? Because our attention, there's only so much attention we have. There's only much lifespan that we have, you know? And when we, when we invest it in people's life, we invest it in the things that are important to us, you know, then we're able to get the right results from doing that. All right, that's all I got for today.